Hey everybody, the Bong is here, yet to give you another Let's Play. And it's a game I never thought I'd see myself doing, considering how hard and how bad it is. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for the NES. I've heard a lot of bad things about this game for many obvious reasons. One, the game is broken, and two, it's very, very hard. But you know what? I thought I'd do this LP anyway, just for the hell of it. See if I can actually beat this game. It's basically about this uh, novel back in the 1880s about Dr. Jekyll and he's on his way to the church to marry his fiance, but he drank this potion and, and turns into this evil monster. So basically I have to try and get to the end of the levels without taking too much damage and having my anger level rise. And you take hit. When you take hits, you not only take damage, but you can also, like, have your anger level rise. So you gotta be very careful here. Oh, shit. Shit! Like, I could use a cane, cane here against this spider, but guess what? It does nothing. Yeah, I just luckily avoided that bomb, because sometimes it'll damage you even when you're not touching it. And he walks so fucking slow. And I'll show you what happens when you turn into Mr. Hyde later, because it's bound to happen. Once that meter there below my life bar turns green, that's when I turn into Mr. Hyde. <coughs> and when you're Mr. Hyde, you have to kill as many monsters as possible to get your meter back to turn you back to Dr. Jekyll. And if you don't do it, by the time you reach where Dr. Jekyll originally was, because the level mirrors backwards now, you die instantly. I'm not making this up. And this game is also hard for another reason. If you die once, the game is over. As far as I know, there are no continues, and there are no extra lives. You have to finish this entire game on a single life, with a weapon that is more broken than the Sphinx's ass. So really, without save states, you have no chance of winning this game. Especially you gotta deal with a dog like this that always runs into you. And he can't walk any faster than this, like... He's just on his way to a, to a wedding, like, couldn't you just take a horse or something? Surely they had horses and other types of transportation back in the 1800s. <coughs> I mean, they just had to! I mean, there's no way everyone just walked around all the time. I come off of it now. Okay, I just got past the first level, thank god. Now we're at the cemetery. Oh, this is the part I'm gonna hate the most. The birds, and they shit on you like every two seconds. I swear to God, there must be some diarrhea with these birds or something. And why do these guys in pink trench coats always gotta throw bombs on the ground? Do they have something against Dr. Jekyll? Are they scientists too and jealous of his success? Maybe a jealous ex boyfriend? I don't know. Maybe he's trying to be a Bomberman fanboy. I have no idea. I don't really care. Well, why is it that birds hate me in every game? Thank God that's not bad so I can... Oh, I just got hit by a grave digger and now uh, I'm Mr. Hyde. So I gotta make sure I kill as many monsters as I can. And the best way to kill the monsters is your projectile attack. To do that, you have to hold up and B. That kills monsters a lot easier. Gotta get that meter all the way back to a light green, because that's the only mode of color to use in this game. They use dark green and light green. Isn't that really nice? A really good color scheme? I think so. And I hate these here little bombs there, because they explode right on top of you, and, you proje and the projectiles move way too fast. Of course you're gonna get hit. There's very little evasive action. All right, now I'm back to Dr. Jekyll. You have to kill these monsters as fast as you can, otherwise you die instantly. 
And believe it or not, my life actually goes back to full health. So, whatever damage I took, I got that taken care of. That's your only means of getting health in this game. Turning into Mr. Hyde, killing monsters, and then morph back. Everything damages you in this game, that's what I hate. And who's getting buried? Like, why is she just looking up and seeing like, uh, hey, who's there? Like, as if there's really anything that important in a cemetery. But apparently something is, because dogs and cats are everywhere. Oh boy, it never ends. Uh, oop, dodge dog. Oh, got hit by that one. Oh, that's a, oh, got hit twice. Bullshit. And speaking of shit, here comes the birds again. Can't these cat birds be constipated for once? That, that would really save me a lot of trouble. And you think yourself, Bonga, why are you doing this game? Because this is one of the most broken and difficult games of all time, and... I don't want to play good games all the time, so I want to balance it out with something that sucks. And besides, I get a lot of credibility and notoriety for playing a game that's broken and beating it. Because I will beat this game eventually. I mean, these levels seem long, but that's because I'm moving so slow. And the Mr. Hyde transformations will slow me down as well. So I gotta try my best not to get hit or get angry. And of course, bird shit really makes Dr. Jekyll angry. As do bombs. And angry cats. Because those are the only enemies in this game. Bombers, birds, cats, dogs, random people, stupid kids, and, and grave diggers. These seem to be the only enemies in the game so far. I want to say so far, because I haven't got past level 2 yet. Am I still in the cemetery? Oh, there we go, we're done. Okay, stage 3, I wonder what that's like. Uh, you stupid kid, come here! I'd beat you with this cane if it wasn't so broken. But the gameplay would actually give me a weapon that works. Looks like I'm still in another town. How oh, far is it to the church? Like... Come on, can't you just get married somewhere closer? That would be a lot more convenient. I always hate it when the bride always has to be the one to choose where the wedding is. Don't you hate that too? I know I do. D Dr. Jekyll must have got the short end of the stick when it came to deciding where the wedding's gonna be. Okay, is that a butterfly? And butterflies hurt you. Isn't that real nice? And I'm almost at my full anger level. So I gotta try not to get hit by... I think that's a mosquito or a miniature toaster. Uh, you gotta use your imagination. This is the NES after all. Oh my god. Like... Uh oh! Dr. Jekyll angry! Okay, I gotta kill a lot of monsters here. Do this as fast as I can. Because I don't want to be at the spot where Dr. Jekyll was, otherwise lightning's gonna strike me and I die instantly. And then it's game over. And that would not be fun. Because there are no continues like I just mentioned. Well, at least I can take out these demon babies pretty easily. I got a lot of coins. I wonder what the coins are for. Now I gotta take out these evil chicken McNuggets. Or Swedish meatballs of death, whatever you want to call them. Oh, did I just heal up? Yep, I did. I'm safe. What are the purpose of the coins, anyway? I have no idea. But at least I can progress in where I once was. Hey, don't get me, you stupid kid, you Dennis the Menace ripoff. Oh my god, like, these levels are painstakingly long. They wouldn't seem so long if you could run, like in most games, like Mario and shit. 
Even Kirby could run for crying out loud. And he doesn't even have legs. All he has is just hands, feet, and a body, and a head. That's it. That's all Kirby has. And even he can move faster than Dr. Jekyll. Oh, I'm safe standing every once in a while because, well, I get bored. When I'm bored, I save state. Seriously, I do. This game generates a lot of boredom. What the fuck? Oh, oh my god, who's singing? Who's actually singing? My god, that's just awful. I, I gotta stop the video right here. Uh, I'll see you along for the next part. See ya.